All right, guys, here we're to talk about episode nine, season one of the Umbrella Academy. And she's alive. So how about that? All right. My first note is Allison has galls on her neck because I made that joke about The Walking Dead yes. and, and you picked up on it mm -hmm. and, and we talked about it. Allison uh, dies uh, or whatever. You think there's so much blood, yeah. but I'm like her eyes fluttered and it would be weird to kill off another of the of, of the uh, of the seven and all that stuff. Yeah. And she's just got galls on her neck. But then like, like the minute they're like carrying her in, I'm like, but she's not gonna be able to talk anymore. She can't use yep. her powers. My right? prediction, uh, my my like only <laughs> commented note that I had for this whole episode because I can't Perfect. remember any other things was that uh, you know, oh, her neck is slashed. They got her vocal cords. She can't talk, but she's gonna discover that the power was in her all along, and she oh. doesn't need the talk. That can still happen. Yeah, that can still happen at the end when she's the one who gets Vine to power down. That's what I'm thinking. All that stuff. I also like we're gonna like skip to the end, but like you know, last time you know you were like, well, they're gonna go to that concert. She's gonna destroy the world. And I was like, she can't. Still go to the concert that makes no sense. Now the way it ends, I'm like, she's gonna go to that concert. They're gonna be like, oh, contacts, and she's gonna be like, I will destroy the world. And I'll be like, okay, cool. Anyway, go over there, and she's gonna sit down and get ready to play. Right? It's gonna be the worst thing ever. I can't wait. Potentially. <laughs> okay. Perfect. It's gonna be something. That that that's um, for sure. But there's a whole bullet of like hit listed things, right? Yeah. What so do you Harold is dead. <laughs> yes. What's going on? Um, everything that everything we predicted was involving all the different players coming together or things happening or whatever and I never didn't have him in there but he was especially only especially not that way I uh -huh. didn't think that Vanya was gonna, yeah. gonna be the one that kills him sure um, I didn't think he would die in episode 9 um, I thought yep. potentially him dying is the catalyst for some bad things happening yeah, exactly. uh, but she kind of you know picks up on his shit and uh, and ends him in like the most uh, what I'm going to say Final Destination type way. <laughs> Only because of the knives. Only because um, of that scene. Way too many knives. A lot of knives. A lot of knives. Excessive amount of sharp objects were used it, it, in his death. It, recall, it brings up something in my mind from a movie directly, and I can't think of what movie it is. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm falsely saying Carrie, um, uh -huh. but it's something where there's like, fing, 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 and just knives just keep raining okay. into some motherfucker. And, Those uh, things happen. They would, happen. Not, not as much as I'm thinking. So honestly, like um, the, conceptually, it's it's a good thing. But like physically, it was a weird looking. Yeah. Like I, you know, I love cloud of household objects. Just and he starts going ah ah ah. It's like slowly starting to hit him in different ways. And I was like, that that's cool. But it looked goofy otherwise. It was almost. He's like, like lifted up. I think right. What is happening? Yeah. yeah. There, there's a, a bit in the if you yeah, you've seen obviously. In Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, it opens oh. up with a Roger Rabbit cartoon with Baby Herman. And Baby Herman, uh, like, steps on this thing and it flings, like, a hundred <laughs> knives. <laughs> and, and, like, they're all just, like, in that board, like, right uh -huh. by. And, like, oh! and, like, that's what happens. Exactly. Is. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. And, and that's what happened in the iconic Final Destination scene mm -hmm. when she's already so dead. And then she reaches up to grab something and she pulls all the knives down yeah. and they all land in her. And I'm like... That's crazy, or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Shit's wild. Shit's wild when the spirit of death is is after you. Uh, but so now Vanya has no more. Like he served his purpose. He unlocked her her true powers again, or whatever. Pretty much, yeah. Um, with the, you know other other things happening, and now she's off, like on her own. Um, yeah. She goes to her to, to to her family for help. There's an awesome scene here where Luther is like crushing her or something yes, like that. Yes, and I was unsure was so of weird. what that was going to be. So that could have gone two directions. It could have been, you know, Luther realizing what he must do and just ending her uh -huh. or attempting to before she sound waves in the death or something. Yeah, that's um, where I thought it was going. Or there's the, you know, crush the life out of you until you pass out. Uh-huh. And uh, it was that. I I didn't know maybe that that was even an option, so I was like, he's crushing her to death. <laughs> And then she's gonna like sound wave kill him or whatever, yeah. Mm -hmm. I I was I was leaning towards it was yeah. it was a seventy five percent chance that he was just choking her out. Yeah, but I in the I'm a gorilla I, way. I would have thought there's more neck involved than that, but he was literally just like, <laughs> just like it, it's like the anaconda way. Like exactly, every time yeah. you're breathing, yeah. out, I am holding tighter like, and tighter and tighter. I, Luther, I'm, that. But what are you? And he's like, it's okay, Vanya. It's okay. And you're like, holy yeah. shit, he's killing her. And then she's just in, uh, in like, a fish tank. So, like, even if she didn't have this amazing power and could get out, first yeah. of all, hang on, but, so she gets out, obviously. And, and as, like, this may be, like, an echo chamber blocking whatever it is. They put little, like, foam yeah. triangles on the like wall. Like, it's a recording studio. Like, yeah. But at the same time, it does not stop the idea that there's sound inside it. Couldn't she go, like, 
oh, and just like fucking, so which, she gets out. Which she does. But what was the plan, even if she couldn't, even yeah. if we somehow canceled her voice, it right. counts all noises dead in there. Yeah. If we're playing anti-noise, whatever you can, you know, science your way out of this. How would you ever feed her or do anything? Unless exactly. this is a death sentence, no, she would no. eventually be able to make some noise. Yeah, and they kind of say... Or if you have like a submarine or spaceport thing where there's like a middle room that you can go in and like put food and shit and like lock that and then unlock hers, yeah. like an airlock. It's one of those things where like the plot never needed for her to be in there for that long, so they didn't set yeah. it up like it had to be that way. Yeah, exactly. I, the hope might be that she calms down or that like they can do a thing or whatever, but I... Me, I was like, can't you just take her hands and pull off the triangles and then just, like, yell again? Pull off the triangles? There were weird little foamy oh, bits oh, on the oh. wall or whatever. When you said take her hands, and I'm like, what the hell's on her hands? Oh, my God. Is, she, is that where the power comes from? Did they give her triangle hands? <laughs> it's like, no. Um, so that, I was like, that, that basement is so much like the basement in, uh, in like, Jurassic Park where you're like, okay. you're like how, how, you're going, How does it exist? Like, like during that one scene where it's like young Vanya, they're going down and like the lights flickering past. It's like so many floors. Yeah. It's like a blinking dot like going down like in Resident Evil. It's like under the like, earth's like this? man. It's like crazy. Yeah. When you and, were first, uh, oh, we're building the plans. I also need there to be a tiny echo of like, like you know, voice yeah. challenging block fucking. What? No, it's a, it's, it's a whole thing. It's yeah. a whole thing. Uh, they actually play her heartbeat gets louder while she's like freaking out to get out. I uh-huh. like that because that's some noise. And they yeah. even say that that when you're in a sensory deprivation tank, you start to hear like your own blood moving through your your veins and Makes like sense. your heartbeat gets like louder to you because like it's like relative yeah, and all that stuff. Left. Yeah, that, that might have been a better thing though to put her into like even yeah. like a tiny chamber. Right. Something like ah. Oh. You would and, think and she'd like, be like restrained or something. Hooked whatever. up to intravenous yeah. like something. <laughs> Now the other, or yeah. yeah, even just knock her out. Like, why just, is she even just awake? Just like sedate her. Just put her in a bed, yeah. We've already established that mom bot you, is a doctor. The dad yeah. you know, gave her drugs that suppress this. Couldn't she have just been like, oh, oh no, no, let's go. <laughs> and give her those, give her those yeah. drugs again. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Uh, the other problem I have was that Allison shows up with a notebook, but isn't allowed to, like, say anything to Vanya. Like, I'm going to get you out of there. It's all good. Like, like, yeah. like, relax. And that's sort of, that's, like, too, a little too convenient for me. I get that Luther's like, no, we have to go. Like, yeah. it was... It, and Klaus was it on was her side fine. too. Yeah. So like, like, and but it didn't seem like she even picked up on that. I know she can't hear, yeah. but you should be able to look at me like they're arguing. They're not like you know they're, no, they're no. all doing this together. And like you would think at the end, like I don't I don't need this to be super realistic, but I feel like it's more realistic for one or more of them to even just suggest like, hey, let's like let's summarize this. Like, hey, Vanya, sorry about this. We have to go make a decision. We'll be back soon. We love you. And just, like, paste that yeah, to, like, yeah. the window. Just something. Klaus or, like, Allison at, at at least should have been like, she doesn't know what's going on. Look at her. And then, and then it, like, cuts to her, like, silently screaming again. You're like, yeah. oh, this is bad. This is a bad situation, guys. We have to calm her yeah. down. Like, you would want to get some message across to her somehow. Certainly. And then not doing that directly leads to her just being like, well, I'm just going to destroy this whole place. Fuck it. And just, like, goes nuts. Or yeah, kind of. Like, okay. Which is another thing. She talks to her own her like own reflection in yeah. this really cringy, horrible way that I hated. Yeah. Your thoughts? <laughs> that was not good. Okay. Um, a lot of where this may be going is not going to necessarily be something Ooh. I would call good. Hit and me I up. have reservations in general, just with her being the. It's whenever you have one of your main characters, uh, like you're like, oh no, their internal turmoil is why they're the bad guy, and they can't understand it. <sighs> like the whole thing where it's like, couldn't you have like you know like said, no, wait, hang on, and explain something for a few minutes in most movies is the issue. Yes. Um, and, and this is that kind of version of that where I'm like, eh, I don't know that that's how this would happen. I'm like, does the fucking chimp butler not know about drugs and shit? Could he not have explained something? Could, like, yeah. mom not have done something? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Like, like, could you not have locked mom in there with her? Like, yeah. would that not have been a perfect, like, middle ground? I don't, th- like, you know, maybe Klaus, who was on her side, could have said, I'll wait in here with her. I need to fucking get myself clean anyway. This is good for both of us. Like, yes. something that I feel like would have happened, there's always just these, these like, super far-flung extremes and things, and I think that's an issue. 
we always hate the plot convenience. I call it the, you've said enough, just go, like, trope, where someone's like, no, in 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 real life, you would be shat, like, and, and, and maybe you wouldn't be, because you're yeah. just like, oh, you're late again with the thing, and stupid thing, in, like, normal life. But in, like, high-stakes, super-powered yes, life, certainly. you'd be like, you don't understand, there's this thing, and it could do that, and that happened, the thing, and you, 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 you'd, like, make a point. Or, like, in a TV show or movie, like, like right at a commercial, when it'd be like, like, I caught you. What do you have to say for yourself? And then come back from the commercial and go, all right, so the plans we're going to do this. Well, Wait, how did you end that last part? That doesn't make any sense. No, I know. They just caught you. You just, you just blinked away from There's that. a lot going on. Commercial break comes back. Wow, that was a lot. And you're like, yeah, what yeah. the fuck are we, how could you possibly have convinced them to go with you? And it's just like, well, exactly. we, we realized we couldn't, so we said, let's, let's put on some Tide commercials and buffer that exactly. out. Or whatever. Yeah. So um, that's where that ends. Yeah. I just glance at my three lined notes. Yeah, yeah. I wrote down notebook, but no one communicates with her or something like that. Yeah, or, I really, I'm, I'm worrying. <laughs> that's really dumb. Because there's, there's oh, only what, one episode what, What's your yeah. prediction? You were like, this is going somewhere that's not good. Oh, well, Do you have I, an I actual, just, like, I don't have a thing where I think yeah. this is going to be it. Yeah. Um, if I had to make a, like, bad prediction of what's going to happen, um, Vanya's not going to blow up the world. They're going to stop her. Kumbaya will get sung. They'll all be together. It'll be fine. Maybe some weird rewinding of time and savior thing, and it will end with her playing her fucking symphony, and they're in the audience. They now, who? Her like they, her family. Her family? Yeah. Sure, and her dad's not dead anymore. Um, no, no. He's dead. No, he's not dead. It'll be something. Yeah. If there is a time travel save, it will still happen after him. And you'll okay. be like, why'd they do that? They needed to. But why? But it was they like two days before. No, trust us. He has yeah. to be dead. That actor didn't sign under the same contract as everybody else. We gotta get rid of him. We, gotta, we, have, we have to ice him. You still might see him occasionally um, through Klaus's yeah. dead vision. Which would be good. Um, okay. I, I agree with that. That's what I assumed was gonna happen the whole time. Or <laughs> it'll be best. Yes. Huh? Ben, maybe. Ben. Maybe Klaus will project Ben. Oh, she'll let's talk see about that. his dead okay. body. Yeah. Uh, and, like standing in front of her, and she'll be like, "What?" And be like, "You have to stop this." Blah 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 blah. And that's gonna break her her concentration on killing <laughs> the world. I just pictured the fucking scene where the Flash comes back and talks to Ben Affleck. Uh, I'm too soon. You gotta save her. <laughs> just like, what is happening? Yeah. We didn't talk about though. Klaus and Ben have like a telekinetic. Yeah, they uh, high thing five. Going on. Right? Yeah. He punches them. Yeah, he, he punches them well, and knocks well, the pills out of his mouth. And then later they're they're like trying to like do like the ghost. I, I don't thing. think they ever succeeded though in that no. trying. It just he kept, he kept like, going. How do we it. nail this down? And he makes yeah. some dumb comment in the middle, like, um, yeah, who knows how people's powers may develop or some weird thing where you're like, okay. Yeah. Like, what? Yes, yes. So he's hiding that too. He's hiding that he's talking to Ben and he's hiding that he might have telekinetic. So that obviously has to come into play next episode some way, right? Yeah. He has to manifest or do something. He can give the dead the power to interact with the physical plane, yes. right? That's huge. And that's something that I, a big I thought, deal. Yeah. like, just from being a naive idiot and having never read these comics, when yeah. they first established his power, I'm like, oh, that must be what he does, and he scouts for him and does, like, things and whatever. Yeah. But I'm just predicting, apparently. Uh, well, but so, like, this might be uh, not the origin, but this is, like, the modern origin of, like, the family's gotten back together and they're discovering things about themselves yeah. and learning how to control their powers and coming to terms with their past. And well, what would be really interesting, <laughs> and it's not true, is yeah. if... Oh. If you age in the afterlife, so like if Ben died when he was younger, yeah, and this is and, and we don't know why now. Ben looks like that. Yeah, well, I don't think I I, I don't know. They didn't really establish well, when he dies, a, right? They didn't establish he's out. I thought you said two years ago. Oh. I, I think I heard that, but I could be making that wow. completely. Uh, but we know that the the statue to his to his memorial thing was a young Ben. Yeah, but that could just be like we, this we, is the age yeah. I liked him and blah blah blah. No, no, we talked about that too. Where he has, a, I think he even has his mask on, you know, in that statue. Maybe like a schoolboy outfit, young, like yeah. ready to go out there, Ben or whatever. Uh, no, it's got to have something to do with that. I think you're absolutely uh, correct. But I think about a that. lot of that will either be explained or delved into in season two. Maybe yeah. maybe there's a taste of it as part of this finale, but I'm not there sure. There is going to be a season two, right? I believe that they confirmed I that would, or something. I would assume. Yeah. I, I, I saw a tweet, I think, that says season two okay. confirmed or whatever, but who knows about that. The last thing that happened in this episode mm -hmm. that I want to bring up is Hazel and Cha-Cha. Yes. We get a fight scene. There's a fight between Hazel and Cha-Cha. So it didn't happen. So, oh, well, Hazel yeah. also uh, originally came to the Sorry, house and said, yes. I want to help. I want this and that. He gave yeah. the guns to clear Both Diego's guns. name. Uh, so now he was gunless going back to yes. see uh, his daughter. And you knew that was going to come into play. And, and you uh, saw Cha-Cha Cha -Cha with like the bloody, uh, she pulled off her handcuffs and all that stuff. Yeah. And she was like going in there and everything. Yes, yeah, so that, that was interesting. She had this weird, complex way of drowning her. Yeah. Where I'm like, that's strange. That was, it, it, it was like boiling somehow. It was like so hot or something. Well, it, I don't it, even know it, what it that was, was a hot all time. about. Yeah, but like. They, they bubble. Yeah, I know. I'm aware of that. But you I mean like. Taken aback. 
Like, that scene's not scary to me anymore if she can hold her breath until Hazel can get over there. I thought that just landing in it would do something bad. No, somehow. no, no. I never took it that way. Well, that's how it they painted it to me. And I'm like, what is she doing with that hot tub? I think she would drown fairly quickly in a hot tub. Um, so, have you ever dunked your head in a hot tub? Listen, she could like not be fully dead for like a few sure, seconds. Sure, sure. But so I think Hazel the problem is there. that while yeah. she's uh, yeah. drowning, Hazel's trying to save her. Yes. Cha-Cha will be fucking punching his neck and I shit. I know, yes, yes. So like, I do think that uh, while that could be considered effective, I think that it's, it, it would be much more effective to just be right next to the chair and just push her ass Yeah, in. it was like, super I don't know crazy why with the rope and all that rope stuff. Layered and the whole thing, thing yes. where you're pulling and, and pulling her closer. I'm like, what if she would have just rocked to the left or right? She would have been free. I know. Maybe had a broken neck. Maybe been a quadriplegic, but she went drowned. Was it around her neck or was it somewhere else? The rope? Know. Yeah. It was around the, the, the middle rung of the chair. Okay. Yeah, she'd be all right. Yeah. Um, the fight scene, I kind of tuned out. The, like, like it was a pretty gritty, good fight scene. It was gritty. You know, honestly, but I kind of tuned out in the middle of it. It was kind of long. I, it didn't really it was do a it little for me. long, and you didn't really think there were any stakes. That's what I'm saying. Um, kind of at all. And there weren't, because the handler shows up at the end. So, like, that was a little interesting. This literally ticked every box that we talked about, like, two episodes, three episodes ago. Uh She comes back. She has facial, like, disfigurements. Yeah. And uh, something to do with time is going to happen now, right? Because she's back in the mix. And um, I'm still confused. They're going to explain it next episode, so we don't have long yeah, to wait. Yeah, how she even like, lived, how, well, like, how this affected your thing. Because so, you had some interesting points about, like, well, if that happened and this exploded, how did oh, that happen? Oh, it's a whole fucking... But I was just like, I don't know, because... Like, well, time's a, a cruel mistress, and it's yeah. like, I know, they can make up whatever they want That's later. That's kind but, of yes. the problem. I know, and it kind of sucks out the whole... And uh, it can do that whole it. thing where, like, it cuts back and shows you how someone really fast was doing this while that was happening, and da-da-da-da-da. Those or are the like, worst. I already went back in time, and I was doing this. That was me from 1991. Maybe, maybe I'd hide the keys right here. Yeah. <laughs> all that stuff. No, but like, so they're going to have to explain it all in like the last episode, right? Sure. We already had five be like, how did Father know that the world was ending, right? That's something he's like, yeah. in, he's in league with them somehow or some dumb thing, maybe right? Maybe he was an agent. Yeah. And, the, and, and now like the hand. They so like, do have a retirement plan yeah. if they let you live. You can, choose so. what, you can choose whatever time period you want. Yeah. And he was like, when the 43 were born, and he goes back, right? Who knows? What? Well, it's dumb. I Listen, wonder. whole thing's dumb. It's very well, dumb. Well, no, Listen. no. He wouldn't. <laughs> honestly, though, that does work if he was from the future and wouldn't have to choose when they were born, yeah. just any time before they were born, because he would know they were going to be born. And then he could swoop in that day. That could be an interesting thing. So the handler, too, she, she seems to want the apocalypse to happen. And well, no, I don't know if she actually wants it or if she just wants to preserve what's supposed to happen. Exactly, but she thinks the apocalypse is supposed to happen, yes. right? So I'm not sure. There has to be some explanation. Like you said, maybe this is a different handler from a different time period, but she wouldn't have the facial. The facial scarring is meant to imply that, that, that this is the same woman from that other facility, Well, because right? time is stupid and it's a TV show, <laughs> there could be like a handler yes. from this decade working in that decade, but the, then from there she was here, but that's the, like, it could be some stupid thing. So maybe she got, she was in the explosion in the past and like the scars appear now or something like that? Maybe. They haven't shown us that type of time travel yet. I don't know. But I'm open to it. My point is that a lot has to be crammed into the last episode as far as the motivations of all the characters. I assume the world doesn't end. Is that, is that, is that a safe assumption? I would assumption? fully assume the world does not end. Right. Or, or if it does end, it ends in a weird way where there's an, like a briefcase still or something and yeah. one of our characters is alive. And season two is, I gotta stop the world from blah, 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 blah. That could actually be brilliant if it's just another thing or something. But no, like I'm kind of lost. Most of my predictions, you know, were based on certain things. Mm-hmm. And now that it's confirmed, the handler's back, time travel's involved, but Harold's dead, and Vanya is on a tear. Like I don't know what we do now. So I'm very no, eager to I'm find super out. Super interested. Do you agree? Though. Yeah. Uh, and either to watch a train wreck or to watch something great. Uh, it's it's Oof. either going to be this thing that like, oh, they pulled it out of the fire or they lit it burn. Do you think we're in real train wreck territory? It's possible. The show's, it's possible. The show's I earned still, enough I still stuff love the show. Okay. It's got credit. The last episode could be total dog shit uh. and I would still watch the next season with a smile. Okay. So like, there you go. They, they, they really are risking nothing right now because I like so much of how the world is presented to me yeah. that, uh, yeah, they can't really go too far off. Right. You can get me to complain 
fine. Right. If you killed right. off some characters, I'd be like, what the fuck? I want to but, learn. I want to learn more about that character. But with the with Klaus's potential Klaus ability to bring travel. people back and stuff, no yeah, dies. there's really exactly you can have everyone forever. You can do whatever yeah. you want. That's, that's no, I think I'm on the same page. Um, it, it 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 seems like they're gonna have to surprise me to end it well. So I think uh -huh. we're kind of that's like a different way of saying the same thing you sure. said, right? And uh, I agree. I will watch season two no matter what happens in season one. <laughs> yeah. So can't wait to see what it is. All right, guys. So that was this episode. Let us know in the comments what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire. And we'll see you next time. Hello, internets. I just love watching Just Taggers. If you've enjoyed this video as much as I have, click that subscribe button. <laughs> <sighs> Peace out, homies.